if God is omnibenevolent, all good, if he's a perfect being, how does he even have the concept of evil in the first place? People talk about the problem of evil all the time, but what about the problem of like the concept of evil? God tells Adam and Eve in the Bible not to eat from the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. How does God have knowledge of good and evil? Everything's good. It's just him that exists before creation. How can he even think of something that's evil? A helpful answer comes to us from Reformed dogmatician Herman Bovink. He says, God eternally conceives sin as his polar opposite. All that just for one line. God conceives of sin as his polar opposite. So here, Bovink is using what philosopher C.K. Grant calls a polar concept argument. Now, Grant says there's a polar principle behind the, the polar concept argument. I'm just going to read it for us. The polar principle expresses a theory about meaning, namely that the significance of a term that is used as an opposite depends upon a contrast. And he finds these polar concept arguments in works like uh, Gilbert Ryle's Dilemmas. In his book Dilemmas, Gilbert Ryle, son or grandson of J.C. Ryle, actually, which is fascinating for the theologian friends, Gilbert Ryle expresses a polar concept argument when he is talking about false coinage, counterfeit coins. He says, a country which had no coinage would offer no scope to counterfeiters. There would be nothing for them to manufacture or pass counterfeits of. They could, if they wish, manufacture and give away decorated discs of brass or lead, which the public might be pleased to get, but these would not be false coins. There can be false coins only where there are coins made of the proper materials by the proper authorities. Okay, so summing this all back up, just as we can understand the concept of a counterfeit coin from understanding a genuine true coin, so Herman Bovink argues that God, who understands himself completely as a necessarily good being, can understand his polar opposite, which is evil. So that's an answer to how God could know about evil before creating beings capable of doing evil actions.